Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, in today's episode, we're going to take a look at TD Bank and their full credit card lineup. So, typical fashion here, we will first familiarize ourselves with TD Bank because we don't talk about them often. Then we'll figure out how their cards work. What are we talking about here? Points, earnings, and redemptions, things like that. Then we'll take a look at the full credit card lineup, both personal and business, as there are a few. Then, of course, we'll come out on the other side of this with some recommendations and evaluations of their card. Do these cards come worthy enough to earn a slot in your wallet? So, if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead, press the subscribe button. Let's get to work. So first things first, let's learn a few interesting facts about TD Bank before we get started. So funny enough, TD Bank signage says they're America's most convenient bank. Now, I don't really know if that's true, but it is quite the claim. So TD Bank stands for Toronto Dominion Bank because they were originally based in Canada. Now, they do have U.S. operations as well, and those are obviously headquartered in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. TD Bank operates those U.S. operations for the East Coast region in about 15 different states, plus D.C. At the time of this, they have the seventh largest bank by deposits and the ninth largest largest bank by assets with about $411 billion. Now you might also be familiar with TD Bank and some of their other subsidiaries. There's like TD Auto Finance. There was TD Ameritrade before that got sold off. So they have some other operations going on. And of course, as far as banking products go, they have all the wide range of products. Now, of course, we're focused on credit cards. So let's figure out how these cards work and where the points earnings are, and then we'll talk about the cards themselves. So points and redemptions. The cards earn points or miles, though they're kind of the same thing as you'll see when we get into it. So points earnings cards are really earning cash back. Cash back, the best redemption is to deposit to a TD Bank deposit account. You'll see why again when we get into the cards. Now miles you can redeem out for travel, cash back, merchandise, or gift cards. Now an interesting note here, there are some additional cards at TD Bank issues that we won't really cover here as these are just the primary non-co-branded cards, but the Target Red card seems to be a popular fan favorite. The Nordstrom Credit Card and the Nordstrom Store Card as well are issued by TD Bank. So starting out with the first card in the lineup, we have the cash secured card. Annual fee here of $29. Multipliers are going to be 1x on all purchases. Now there are some requirements for how the secured card works. So number one, you're going to need to open a TD savings account. Number two, you're going to have to have a minimum of $300 held in that savings account to secure the card. Now you can also set your credit limit that is based on the total amount of savings you have in the account, so anywhere from $300 to $5,000. And if you continue to use your card, build up those reps, then you may qualify to graduate to an unsecured card down the road. Now, next up in the lineup, we get to the interesting stuff here, and now we have the cash card. So very simple, no annual fee here. Your multiplier is going to be 3x on dining, 2x on grocery stores, and the classic 1x on all other purchases. Our next card, funny story on it, I kind of read the name really fast. I thought it was called Double Tap, but instead it's the Double Up card. But frankly, Frankly, Double Tap would have been a much cooler name. The Double Tap card is sporting a $0 annual fee. Now, the multipliers here is really why the name is Double Tap. So you can earn 1x on all purchases, pretty standard. However, if you want to bump this card up to a 2x earning card or do the Double Tap, if you will, you can earn an additional 1x back when you redeem those points as cash back into a TD deposit account. So either a checking or savings account. So moving on to a less cool name, we have the First Class card. Now, this is TD's travel card. So we have an annual fee of $89, but that is waived in year number one. Your multipliers here are going to be 3x back on travel and 3x on dining. Now, again, as this is the travel card, this is the card that's earning miles and allows you to redeem for cash back, for travel, for merch, or gift cards. Now, that rounds out the lineup for personal cards. So, taking a look at the one business card, they have the business solutions card. So, no annual fee here. Now, this is very similar to the double tap card, just with a less cool name. Multipliers, again, 1x on all purchases. You can also pick up an additional 1x when redeeming to a TD Bank deposit account. And really quick here, while we're on the topic, since for the double tap personal and business cards, you do have to redeem to an online TD Bank checking account. You can see the options you have here for eligible checking accounts. So they have the TD Beyond checking, TD Convenience checking. Then you also have some money market options as well. TD Beyond Savings, TD Simple Savings, and TD Growth Money Market. Now on the business side of the house for the business version of the double taps is what I'm going to call it. You also have options for the TD Business Premier Checking, TD Business Convenience Checking Plus, TD Business Simple Checking as well. And then we also have a TD Business Savings Account and then a TD Small Business Money Market Account Plus as well. 
And one more point on the topic of checking accounts, it is also worth noting that if you really are interested in these and the double tap cards, normally if you live in one of those 15 states that TD Bank services, they also have checking account bonuses they offer pretty frequently. So I would definitely look for one of those and kind of do a stacking on top of a checking account bonus and then the credit card that you're looking for to kind of double your points earnings potential here. Okay, guys, and so there we have it. That is the credit card lineup for TD Bank in 2021. Now, overall, I would say these cards are, you know, they're kind of meh at best. They're not the worst thing ever, but they're also nothing really to write home about. So let's go through them a little bit here. So the secured card let us off, first of all. I just don't think really you need an annual fee on a secured card. Honestly, there's a lot of other options out there if you're trying to build credit. You know, I would go look at Capital One or something like that. I don't think they charge annual fees on a lot of their credit building cards or they have, you know, the good to fair tier that you might qualify for might help you out there. Now the two cash back earning cards I think are fine. You know, you have your bases covered except for, you know, the double tap. It's again, I like the name, but it's kind of limiting you know when you talk cash back you would at least like the option to redeem for a statement credit that's how i think most people redeem cash and i guess technically you can just redeem to your td bank account and then use it to pay off your balance you could do that but it just seems like a miss to be that limiting i understand td bank probably just wants to keep the money in house but you know when you have the city double cash out there i like their version a little bit better when they say one percent when you buy and one percent when you pay it's kind of like that but you know you can still redeem the points how you want and then overall all the travel card you know the travel card is probably the hardest sell for me because of that $89 annual fee you know I really just don't see anything there to justify now it is waived in year number one sure but you know year number two and beyond I just don't really see it it's kind of a hard sell overall so you know final thought here I would say even if you just really love banking with TD and you really only want to stay with one place I mean I get it that's kind of how these are designed but truly I think you'd be better off looking elsewhere now if you just had to have one of these cards no they're not the worst thing in the world they're not necessarily you know terrible but you can do better with a lot of cards out there and just about every category they had city double cash active cash are gonna be two percent cards right there altitude go car is gonna beat you in the dining category and, you know the list goes on and on you can definitely drop your favorites down below even though the u.s bank just came out with a business card that earns like four three x category so i think you get the point there are plenty of options that you could do much better if you wanted to some you'd only actually need one extra card for so for that reason you know td bank not good not great just kind of meh that's actually what I wrote down on the note sheet over here. Just meh. So I think we'll leave it there, guys. So if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel, posting content just like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Of course, we have that full recap video on Sunday that is all the news you can use in the week that wasn't credit and finance. My question for you guys is let me know down below what you think of TD Bank. Do you bank with them? Do you have any of these cards or would you consider them? Why or why not? Or give some folks some alternatives to consider if they are looking at this and being a TD Bank customer. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.